It's time for High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast of High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel is presented by Harvest Valley Pest Control, Dick Seating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Les Schwab Tires, Biosports Physical Therapy, Impact Auto Sales, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Town Toyota, Auto Mocha, JDSA Law and Weinstein Beverage. Now let's go live for all the action of tonight's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel. Free game show continues now on the NCW Life Channel as we are joined by Wenatchee head basketball coach, Travis Williams and coach, here we are starting the second half of the big nine season. How would you summarize your team's first half? Well, we're, we're three and three right now. I think we played really well at times and we played pretty inconsistent at times. So I think it's finding that consistency here in the second half of the season is gonna be a key for us. And you know, you played this team about a month ago down in Yakima, pretty tough go down there. I think you lost by about 19 or something. What do you do to, to turn that around here tonight? Yeah, yeah, they, they got us pretty good down in, in Yakima. And I think, you know, coming out ready to go with more energy this time around is gonna be the biggest difference. I, I didn't think we were ready to go from the tip and, and got down pretty early, I think 14 to nothing to start the game. And so that's gonna be the key coming out ready to go. And missing a pretty big piece of your uh, team tonight, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, no, Chase Lloyd Hammer, he's in Bozeman right now at Montana State on a football recruiting trip. So obviously we wish him the best, uh, but yeah, we are gonna miss him a ton tonight. He's a big part of our team. Hope he goes there, that's my old college. So <laughs> we'll see about that. Coach, best of luck and best of luck the second half of the season. All right, thanks a lot. Coach Travis Williams and our pregame show will continue. We have the tip coming your way right here on the NCW Life Channel after this. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Ricardo and this is Amanda and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Where you can expect a hassle-free car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dick's has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long and your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Heating and Air Conditioning for all your support. Right here on the Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, your local independent train comfort specialist. Call 884-6444 today. At Harvest Valley Pest Control, we know you are committed to making your home and business a healthy and pest-free place. Hi, I'm David. Give us a call and we'll give you a firm price over the phone and schedule a time that works for you. We will do an in-depth 30-point healthy home or business inspection and craft a customized plan of action designed specifically for your pest issue. Give us a call or visit our website today. fans and welcome back to Wenatchee High School as we are set to go for game number two of our doubleheader Wenatchee Panthers and the Davis Pirates this series started way back in 1927 28 so this has been going on a long time uh, overall the Wenatchee leads this or is behind in the series 97 to 55 that's a lot of games between these two teams Wenatchee has won though right here at Wenatchee High School they're 12 out of their last 13 games at home and have also won nine straight league games here on the court at Wenatchee High School Wenatchee comes in with a three and three league record seven and seven overall 
while Davis comes in at three and four and seven and eight overall. Davis a big win last night when actually was off, but last night Davis a winner over Moses Lake. Get this folks, 98 to 73. So Davis put up some big numbers last night on the Roar, I should say at home against Moses Lake. And a lot of people will think this is a down season for the Davis Pirates, three and four and seven and eight on the season. And that just isn't the Davis way, that's for sure, as they have been very dominant over at least the past 10 years. Uh, they have beaten two thirds, they have won two thirds of their games 18 of 27 from 2010 to 2019 against these Wenatchee Panthers. Other games tonight around the Big Nine. It's Eastmont at West Valley and Sunnyside is at Moses Lake. Let's take a look now at tonight's starting lineups and we'll begin with the Davis Pirates. Starting tonight is Earl Lee the third. Lee, uh, Lee the third is 6'2", senior. He'll be joined by Jose Reyes, a very talented athlete, 6'1", junior. Xavier Deloza Guerrero, a 5'10", junior, gets the start as well. He'll be joined by Marcus Cook in the backcourt. He's a six-foot senior. And rounding out the starting five for the visiting Davis Pirates is 6'5", sophomore, Dante Bennett Joe. Head coach, longtime coach of the Davis Pirates and former Wenatchee Panther head coach is Eli Juarez. And now for the homestanding Wenatchee Panthers, as I mentioned, have won nine straight league games. They'll go with Garrett Long tonight, a 6'2 junior. Camden Lloydhammer, a big load on his shoulders tonight with his brother out of the lineup. He's a 6'3 sophomore. Joe Dory is a 6'0 junior, gets the start tonight in place of Lloyd Hammer. Also, Nathan Blauman starts a six-foot senior. And also, a big load to fill and big shoes to fill tonight for Logan Nelson. He'll have to do it in place of Lloyd Hammer. Nelson, a 6'5 senior. In his seventh or eighth season, I think it's his eighth season now, head coach of the Wenatchee Panthers, fellow Montanan, as we found out tonight, Travis Williams. So it should be a good one here from Wenatchee High School tonight. Sit back and enjoy this one. Looking forward to it myself. I do want to mention that Wenatchee Panthers Sports on the NCW Life Channel is brought to you by Auto Mocha. Visit one of their six locations in the Valley, including the only Auto Mocha with inside seating. That's on 5th Street across from the college. What's your Auto Mocha emergency? And by Biosports Physical Therapy. You can find them online at biosports.net. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m to 7 p.m. So we're just about set to get underway here from Wenatchee High School. Great to have you along, Grant Olson, with you. And I hope your weekend is off to a great start. Weather-wise, boy, it's been beautiful, hasn't it, around the valley? And will continue to be that way with some more rain showers in the forecast, but lots of warm temperatures as well. So the teams getting their last-minute instructions from Coach Juarez and Coach Williams. The Davis Pirates on the court with their black away uniforms. The Panthers will be dressed in their home of whites. We're just about set to go. A very quick first game. We had some time to kill in this second, or in between the first and second games. I love how the uh, Davis jerseys on the back of all their jerseys, it looks like their names back there, but all it says is family. So a nice way to kind of keep your team together. Camden Lloydhammer in the center circle for the Panthers. He will jump up against the sophomore Dante Bennett Joe. He stands 6'5", Cam Lloydhammer at 6'3". All right, Mr. Simonson, our official, with the tip, and it goes to Davis right off the bat, layup, good by Marcus Cook. And just like that, the Pirates on top, two to nothing. That was a set play right out of that jump ball. Now it's Blauman, and the Panthers come back on offense. First possession of the night. Top of the key, Logan Nelson. There's Garrett Long as he hands it to Joe Dory, looking for a little help. Davis, man-to-man -man defense to begin here. Dory on the baseline to Blauman. You heard Coach Williams say in the pregame interview, he needs a fast start here tonight. There's Nelson to Lloyd Hammer. Now it's Dory, five on the shot clock. Panthers better get a shot up. Blauman, three-point shot, a tough shot, no good, and a rebound to early the third. Lee will bring it down court. Quickly, as Davis always is, to Reyes. Very talented athlete, as I mentioned. Back out to Earl Lee, the third, 6'2", senior. 2-0, Davis lead. Gets a screen from Bennett Joe. Gets it back to Joe now in the lane. Kicks it back, Marcus Cook to Bennett Joe in the lane, up and in. So just like that, the Pirates 4-0 lead. And Coach Williams mentioned he needed a, start, a fresh, or a fast start tonight. Just hasn't happened. It's been the opposite of that. 
Now with the basketball, it's the Panthers and Garrett Long. He's going to take the shot from outside for three. Good. That is what the Panthers need tonight is for their leading scorer, Garrett Long, to get going in this ball game. 4-3 our score. Lee, down court, Reyes. He can't take the shot. Now it's into the hands of Deloza Guerrero. Back to Earl Lee, the third. Panthers also man-to-man -man defense. Both teams man-to-man -to, -man to begin this one. As Lee dribbles slowly to the right side, creeping up on 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Nice step back move, can't get the shot off though. Now it's Reyes, seven seconds, shot clock. Lee, baseline working against Blauman. Now back out, Cook with it. He's gonna have to put the shot up. It's off the rim, no good. Joe Dory, the rebound, and he gets fouled, I believe, from behind. And he will be fouled by Xavier Deloza Guerrero. That's his first foul and our first foul of the ball game in this 4-3 game. Panthers to bring it in. Garrett Long and Blauman will do so. Garrett Long, 6'2", junior. And of course, Nathan Blauer and Blauman, a six-foot senior. 5.48 left to go first quarter. Here's Blauman, dribbles across half court to Logan Nelson. Now to Garrett Long. Long baseline, Blauman tries to get it down to Lloyd Hammer, and we've got some pushing and shoving down low, and we're going to have another foul called on the Pirates. This foul is his second now on Z Xavier Deloza Guerrero. It says one on the board, it should be two. And now it's Blauman. Top of the key, Blauman hands it off to Garrett Long. Uh, Long, rather, looks back to Travis Williams for some instruction. Now Lloyd Hammer kicks it out. Dory doesn't take the shot. Back to Lloyd Hammer. And we've got three seconds in the key. Logan Nelson parked himself in there, and that's our first turnover of the ball game. 4-3. Davis Pirates on top with the basketball. Panthers come out in a little bit. A full court pressure now. Davis, no problem breaking that. Earl Lee, the third. On the baseline, Xavier Deloza Guerrera. Guerrero, rather, back out to Earl Lee, the third. Who did it go off? And it did go off of Earl Lee, the third, not a bounds. And that's first turnover now on Davis. So both teams with the turnover here early on. Approaching five minutes left to go first quarter. Three minutes gone here in this second game of our doubleheader. 4-3, the Pirates on top. Good matchup here, Garrett Long, Marcus Cook. Long stops free throw line, kicks it out to Lloyd Hammer. Spins, nice move inside the key. Now to Logan Nelson, and then he throws it away. And a fast break opportunity for Davis. Free throw should lay up no good by early the third and the rebound to Garrett Long. Now it's Joe Dory, Lloyd Hammer. Panthers, I think they're a little tentative to even take the shot so far in this game. Long has made a long shot, and that's been about it. Now it's Dory with it as Long heads to under the basket. A screen from Blauman. There's Long. He was open. Dory missed him when he did come open at the elbow. Now Panthers reset. Long on the dribble. Right side. 4-13 left to go here. First quarter. Nice switch. Long on the baseline. Three seconds shot clock. Long offensive foul. Nice position by Dante Bennett-Joe. And Garrett Long will pick up the first Panther foul here in this game. Substitute into the game now as Logan Nelson comes out. Logan Bailey checks in, a 6'2 senior for Wenatchee. And he will have the task of guarding the much taller Dante Bennett Joe at 6'5. Here's Reyes. Down court to Lee with Garrett Long on him. Bennett Joe as Bailey comes out on him. Now a streaking to the basket. Shot good, almost a foul there. Deloza Guerrero. And it's good in a 6-3 ball game. Blauman now has not scored yet. The only basket so far is a three-pointer by Garrett Long. Blauman into the paint, can't do anything with it. Kicks it back out Long. Near side, Dory. Bounce pass down low. Lloyd Hammer facing up against Bennett Joe. Lloyd Hammer can't do anything with it. Dory now throws one up there, no good. And the rebound to Guerrero. Down court quickly, Marcus Cook. Shot is good, but it was before the shot. And a foul on Lloyd Hammer. Cook wanted that basket. <clears throat> and it is on Camden Lloyd Hammer, his first personal. So two team fouls for each squad. 
As we are under three and a half minutes now left to go opening period. Quick moving quarter. Only three turnovers in this period. Cook, now to Lee. Lee drives left side, kicks it out. Reyes with it, shot taken and a foul. It is called on Logan Bailey, I believe. Coach Williams doesn't like that call. And Bailey will pick up his first and the Panthers now with three team fouls. <clears throat> that is in the active shooting, so it will send Jose Reyes to the free throw line. Reyes has not scored a point yet tonight. Right-handed shooter, free throw good. First free throw of the night by either team, and it's seven to three. Davis leads it by four. Second half of the Big Nine schedule underway as Reyes hits that free throw. And remember, he was fouled on a three-point shot, so he has a chance to make three of them here. Now 8-3 as Davis tries to extend their lead to six. Free throw, Reyes gets the roll, it's good. 9-3, Panthers still only one basket here in this first quarter, and that was a three-pointer by Long. To Joe Dory as we creep up on three minutes left. Lloyd Hammer, far side, Blauman. Too long with it. Long drives into the lane. One handed runner, good. Long has five now. Panthers get a turnover on a bad pass by the Pirates and right back the other way. Wenatchee. Here's Long to the basket. Can't get that one to go. Thought he had it. And rebound Bennett Joe. Outlet down court. Reyes shakes and bakes in the key. Can't do anything with it. Cook the shot, no good. Garrett Long the rebound, but no help down court. So he's just going to have to slow it up. 9-5, under two and a half minutes now, left to go first quarter. Long hands it off, Dory, right in front of our score bench here. He's picked up by Earl Lee the third. Both teams man-to-man -man defense here in this first quarter. Blauman, baseline, gets cut off by Bennett Joe. Gets it over to Dory though, now cross court. Bailey inside, Lloyd Hammer, nice shot. Couldn't get the bucket though, nice ball movement. And the Panthers come up empty. 9-5, here's Lee now, shot, good for three. His first bucket of the night, it's 12-5, seven point Davis lead. Long, hands it to Dory, minute 46 left to go. Now to Blauman, far side, picked up there by Lopez, and here's a shot by Lloyd Hammer for three is good, Camden Lloyd Hammer. Knocks down his first three-point shot, and we've got timeout. Minute 33 left to go first quarter. Davis 12, Wenatchee 8, back in 30 seconds. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita Mocha Liquid. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha for penis. A peach Red Bull. All right, one minute, 33 seconds left to go opening quarter. Davis leads it 12 to eight and relatively Low scoring first quarter. There is a warning on the Wenatchee sideline for a wet floor. So it took a little extra time to wipe that up so he gets a little bit of a warning as Coach Williams grins a little bit at official Simonson as Davis comes and faces full court pressure out of that timeout. Here's Earl Lee the third with Nate Blauman on him. To Marcus Cook. He dribbles back and just backs up from the top from the uh, top of the key. Lee to Deloza Guerrero. Hits big Bennett Joe on the baseline. Tough shot, no good. Rebound into the hands of Nate Blauman. Panthers have three on two. Blauman, nice no look pass and blocked. Lloydhammer's shot was blocked. Bailey with the rebound to Lloydhammer. Now the Panthers a fresh shot clock. Nice heads up play by Logan Bailey. 12-8, four point Davis lead. 54 seconds left opening quarter. Long, the runner and he's fouled. Long with seven first quarter points. And he'll go to the free throw line to try and complete the three point play. Foul is on Jose Reyes, that's his first. 
12-10 score as the Panthers came roaring back here late in this first quarter. 52.7 seconds left to go. Along with a heck of a quarter, he's got seven, can make it eight here with a made free throw, and he does. Substitute coming in for the uh, Pirates, and it's number four, Robert Galindo. And he'll replace Jose Reyes in the lineup. Panthers on defense, full court pressure once again, under 50 seconds left to go, first quarter. Marcus foul, Cook. Please. Thirty-five seconds left to go. First quarter. Just dribbling with it is Lee. Thirteen on the shot clock. So about eighteen seconds different shot clock, game clock. Cook with the dribble. Garrett Long out on him. Both teams man-to-man -man defense. Three on the shot clock. Cook to the basket. Gets it to go. How about that? Right at the end of the shot clock. And now it's twelve seconds left to go. Panthers with it and can't take the last shot. Here's Long. Five seconds. Bennett Joe comes out on him. He's double teamed. Now it's Lloyd Hammer going to have to take it. No, he doesn't. And Panthers don't even get a shot off as that ends our first quarter of play. After one here at Wenatchee High School, it's the visiting Davis Pirates 14 and the Wenatchee Panthers 11. Second quarter coming your way in 30 seconds. Stay with us. Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. Brought to you also by Jefferson Daniel Son and Aylward. Their attorneys delivering quality and innovative legal services to North Central Washington since 1946. They're online at jdsalaw.com. All right, timeout. Out of the timeout. I should say out of the quarter break, we begin our second quarter of play, and it will be Wenatchee basketball down by three here, 14 to 11 in this low-scoring affair. Garrett Long with it. Panthers come out with Long, Blauman, Lloyd Hammer, Logan Bailey, and Joe Dory. And we've got a traveling call on Lloyd Hammer. We see that about once a game where the player doesn't put the ball on the floor before he takes a step, and that's going to be a travel every time. And now Davis back the other way. They come out with Galindo still in there. Also Earl Lee the third, Marcus Cook out there, Dante Bennett Joe. And rounding out the starters, number three, Xavier Deloza Guerrero. Here's Cook. Had a nice first half. Marcus Cook with four, or first quarter with four points. Cook with it, Joe Dory on him. Both teams have been playing man-to-man -man this entire way so far. Cook now right elbow, dishes it underneath to a wide open. Guerrero, then it's blocked out of his hands by Logan Bailey. Nicely done by Bailey. Bailey timed tonight. Chase Lloyd Hammer not in the lineup for the Panthers. Side out for Davis. No shot, six on the shot clock. Now five early. The third better put one up. Dory left him open. Lee off balance. No good. Blauman goes high for that rebound. Dribbles down court. Pass to Garrett Long. He's at the free throw line. Can't do anything there. Now it's Blauman with it. Shovels it over. Bailey baseline shot. No good. Rebound into the hands of Galindo. Down court quickly, back the other way, Davis. There's Lee the third, layup over Dory, good. Long, back the other way for the Panthers, now down by five. This is a big, big nine matchup tonight. Davis three and four in league, Panthers three and three in league play. So this is, for where your seeding goes towards the end of this season, this could could make for a pretty big game towards the end of the year. Now it's Dory with it. Looks underneath, finds Bailey down in the post, off the glass, gets the roll, good. So Bailey's first two points of the night. 
We've got a 16-13 game. Boy, stick around. I think it's going to stay this way the rest of this one. Here's Earl Lee, the third, directing traffic, trying to get some help. Now dumps it down to Cook. Nice break on the bench for Jose Reyes, who's been out for most of this quarter. In fact, he has this entire second quarter. Now it's Lee. Guarded there by Garrett Long. Now Farser near side. Galindo back out Marcus Cook. Free throw line drives on Lloyd Hammer. One-handed runner is no good. Rebound, though, into the hands. Guerrero, no good. He jumps over the back of Long. And I think that will be over the back on Xavier Deloza Guerrero. And that's foul number three on him. That is a big foul on number three. In the lineup now for the Panthers is Ryan Paleo, a five or six one sophomore. So Paleo in there, also with Garrett Long and Lloyd Hammer as Paleo almost gets his pocket picked, having a hard time just keeping his feet, and then gets the ball stolen. Earl Lee, the third layup, good. And that's not how you want to start your uh, night if you're Paleo for the Panthers. Five point, Davis lead. Cook, one on one against Long. Nice defense, free throw line. There's Long, jump shot off the rim, no good. Rebound, who's got it? And it's into the hands of Bennett Joe. And back the other way come the Pirates. Down court, Earl Lee the third. Stops with it to Galindo, back right side. Now there's Earl Lee the third. NBA three, good. His second three of the night, and he's got 10 points. Eight point Davis lead, the biggest lead we've seen so far on the night. And the Panthers back on offense. Blauman near side on the wing. Working on Guerrero. Blauman to the basket, short on the layup. No good. Bennett Joe the rebound. Panthers flat right now. Earl Lee the third. He's open again. Going to put up another bomb. No good. Bennett Joe, nobody around him. Back up and in. And Coach Williams wants timeout. 4-31 left to go here. Second quarter. It's Davis 23 and Wenatchee 13. This is the biggest point spread of the night. The biggest lead for Davis at 10 points. We'll keep it here. And mention that our broadcast tonight is brought to you by Confluence Health. They're dedicated to improve their patients' health with safe, high-quality care in 12 communities throughout North Central Washington. And by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort train specialist specializing in commercial and residential HVAC systems. Online at dicksheatingwenatchee.com. Davis, a nice run here. As Panthers, if Davis has outscored Wenatchee, 9-2 to two here in this second quarter. We're almost halfway through the second period. And Davis now leads at 23-13. Big Logan Nelson is back in there for the Panthers. 6'5", senior. And Ryan Paleo off the bench will stay in as well. Here's Long, free throw line. Can't do anything against Cook. Man-to-man -man defense all the way for both teams. Also into the game for Davis is... Number 12, and that is Braxton Brown, a 5'8 junior. Side out, Panthers, 24 on the shot clock. Garrett Long will bring it in. Does so to Palio. Now back to Long. Holds up one finger for the play for the Panthers. Palio to Bailey. Bailey drives right side of the key. Off the glass. Nicely done. It's good. Bailey with his fourth point this quarter. That cuts the lead to eight now, 23-15. Earl Lee the third with it. This Davis team, three and four in Lee, but they're gonna make some noise here down the stretch. You can almost bet on that. Galindo now, pass underneath Bennett Joe, much taller underneath. Logan Nelson though, rips down the rebound and hands it off to Blauman, streaks down court. No look pass, Long steps in the lane, no good. Nelson had his hands on it, and then falls out of bounds on the end line, and out of bounds, and it will be Davis basketball as Jose Reyes checks back in. He'll replace Marcus Cook in the lineup. No, he won't. He'll replace number 12, Braxton Brown. So a short stint for Brown, and this time he'll be back, I'm sure, as Lee looks for some help to get it inbounds. Panthers show a little full-court press. Earl Lee the third, no looker. Down court to Galindo. Three and a half minutes now left before halftime, and Lee, that was past an NBA three-pointer, no good. And we've got a foul on Cook breaking away from the play, and it's going to stay Cook, his first personal. 
still politicking with Simonson down there underneath the uh, basket, but to no avail, it is Panther basketball. Long will bring it in in front of the Panther bench. 3.26 left to go, second quarter. Grant Olson with you. Great to have you along tonight on the NCW Live channel. Here's Blauman, picked up there by Galindo. 3.16 left to go before halftime. Blauman can jump so high, jumps over everyone, and his first points of the night right there. Panthers now down by 10, have cut it to six. Once again, full court pressure. Pass, no good. Rebound, Logan Bailey. Panthers have a chance now to cut this lead to four. Low scoring first half from Anachi High School. Blauman between the leg dribble, stops free throw line. Stutter step move, now goes to the basket. No, he doesn't. Kicks it back out to Paleo. And Paleo looking for some help. Gets a screen from big Logan Nelson. A screen and roll, but couldn't get it to him. And Paleo throws one up and almost got it to go. Rebound to Galindo. Now it's Reyes. Across half court. He's going to go all the way to the basket. Nobody on him. And then Bailey gets a piece of it. It might be Blauman, though, instead. Let's see. It is. It's on Nathan Blauman, his first and only the Panther. Fourth team foul. Five on Davis in this first half. Very clean first half. Four turnovers on Monachi. Two is all on the Pirates. Reyes at the free throw line. Three for three so far from the line. That's all of his points, all of those in the first quarter. This one, good. Four for four from the line for Davis as Galindo comes out and Xavier Deloza Guerrero checks back in. Reyes, right-handed shooter. This one on the way, also good. He is perfect tonight, five for five from the line. Under two and a half minutes now left to go before halftime. Long, screen from Nelson, can't do anything with it. Stops and takes the shot though. Well off the mark, no good. Who did that go off? It went off Nelson and out of bounds. And it will be Davis basketball. Once again, full court pressure applied by the Panthers. Marcus Cook has it, nice way to break the press there. Give and go, Reyes runs over Joe Dory, and that'll be an offensive charge on Reyes, and that'll be his second. Quickly off the bench is Braxton Brown for Davis. Brown comes in, Reyes comes out. 25-17, eight point Davis lead, 2-13 left to go second quarter. Nathan Blauman with it. Dribbles across half court. Now to Garrett Long. And Cook on him, gets a screen from big Logan Nelson and a double dribble is called as Long did dribble and then he picked it up and then dribbled again. You can't do that. That's turnover number five now on the Panthers. With just over two minutes, 2.01 left to go here in this second quarter. Here's Brown. Inside, left elbow shot. Cook on the fly, good. Nice shot and he's got six now in the game. Earl Lee the third leads all scorers with 10. Garrett Long with eight for the Panthers. Here's Blauman. Free throw line spins, can't do anything. Now to Dory, picked up by Earl Lee the third. Now it's Bailey. Shakes his defender, jump shot, baseline, good. And how about Logan Bailey? Six points here in this second quarter. And it's 27-19, under a minute and a half now left to go before halftime. Bennett Joe with it, Garrett Long on him. Back out to Brown, top of the key now, Marcus Cook, as Coach Juarez yells out instructions to his Pirates. Here's Earl Lee the third, directing traffic with Blauman out on him. 10 on the shot clock now for Davis. Earl Lee the third drives, baseline shot, good. He's got nine here in this second quarter. And this now matches the biggest lead that Davis has had, 10 points, 29-19. Dory to Bailey, another shot and another bucket for Logan Bailey. His eighth point this quarter. Lee the third to Guerrero, back to Earl Lee. Cross court tipped, picked up by Cook. Cook to Braxton Brown, no look pass down low to Guerrero, but 
Big 6-5 Bailey under there. Shot taken, no good. Blauman the rebound for the Panthers. Looks for some help. Gets double teamed in the corner. The ball is tied up and a jump ball is called as Braxton tied up Blauman and alternating possession. Who's got it? Looks like it will be Davis basketball. As Logan Nelson checks out Camden Lloydhammer back in. And it will be Davis basketball with 21 seconds left. Second quarter, shot clock off. Here's Cook. Dribbling in the backcourt with Blauman coming out to put some pressure on him. Now it's Earl Lee the third. Back over to Marcus Cook. Ten seconds left to go here in this first half. Now seven seconds. Five. Earl Lee so dangerous. Long's got to stay on him. And Lee at the buzzer. In and out. No good. And that will end our first half of play. After two quarters here at Wenatchee High School, it's Davis 29 and Wenatchee 21. We're back courtside here in two minutes with the halftime stats and more. Stay with us. water crack a smile hi there it's les schwab tires well more like les schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires now some tire places don't offer all that they only sell tires and we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping that's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Uh, my name is Brian Thorpe. Uh, I own Global Car Care in Wenatchee and have been here for about 25 years. Brian started Global Car Care as Brian's Automotive Alternative on Arondo Street. Some customers were following Brian since uh, Brian's Automotive time. No, we're just grateful to be part of this community. This is where I grew up. We want to do our part to be a valuable part of this community. We want to thank you for trusting our business for 25 years. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. Grant Olson courtside at Wenatchee High School and we're at the half of game number two of our doubleheader where our halftime score is the Davis Pirates 29 and the Wenatchee Panthers 21. Davis led after the first quarter 14 to 11 and then outscored the Panthers 15 to 10 in that second quarter and now have an eight point lead. Davis has led by as many as 10 points in this one. Been a fairly clean ball game though. Panthers have some work to do. They have won 12 out of their last 13 games at home and have won their last nine straight league games here in the court at Wenatchee High School. But as I mentioned, they have some work to do if they're gonna make that streak 10 games. Wenatchee comes in at three and three in league, seven and seven overall. Davis three and four in league play and seven and eight overall. And boy, Davis, a big, big win last night. 98 points they laid on Moses Lake at home as they defeated the Pirates last night, 98-73. Other scores from last night, it was Eastmont 77, Eisenhower 69, and West Valley put it to Sunnyside last night by a final of 80 to 42. Other games around the Big Nine tonight is Eastmont at West Valley, and the big game in the girls' basketball side of things, and the big game in the boys' side of things, Eastmont at West Valley, that's number one and number two teams duking it out right there as well as the girls sunny side at Moses Lake we'll take another two minute timeout we'll come back and take a look at halftime stats and more once again our halftime score Davis 29 Wenatchee 21 we're back courtside right after this
When you call Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning is your local independent trained comfort specialists, proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Hi, I'm Ricardo, and this is Amanda, and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Where you can expect a hassle-free car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. Welcome back to Inside here at Wenatchee High School where our halftime score is Davis 29 and the Wenatchee Panthers 21. Davis also victorious in game number one of our doubleheader. So the Panthers did kind of uh, could lose both games here tonight on their home court. We're not careful down here by eight points at halftime. Our broadcast tonight is brought to you by Global Car Care, a quality auto repair facility with highly trained technicians. Celebrating 25 years in the car care business, they speak your car's language at 1840 North Wenatchee Avenue. And by Harvest Valley Pest Control. You can be rest assured that Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call today for your free estimate. Let's take a look now at the halftime stats, beginning with the Wenatchee Panthers down by eight and leading scorers, Logan Bailey and Garrett Long, both with eight points. Long with his points in the first quarter, Bailey with his in the second with eight. Three points for Camden Lloydhammer and two points for Nathan Blauman. The Panthers were one for one from the free throw line and committed five of first half turnovers. For the uh, Davis Pirates, leading the way, Earl Lee the third with 12 points in this one, six points for Marcus Cook, and ironically, they were the leading scorers last night in that 98-point effort against Moses Lake. They both had 23 points and leading the way tonight for their team. Jose Reyes, five points, all five of those from the free throw line. He was five for five. Six points for Cook, as I mentioned, two points for Xavier Deloza Guerrero, and four points for the sophomore Dante Bennett Joe. The uh, Davis Pirates, five of five from the free throw line and committed two first half turnovers talk about taking care of the basketball davis led 14 to 11 after one outscored the panthers 15 to 10 in the second and now lead it at halftime our score davis 29 and wenatchee 21 we'll take one more two minute timeout come on back second half action coming your way on the ncw life channel Dix Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dix has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long and your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Air conditioning, your local independent train comfort specialist. Call 884 6444 today. At Harvest Valley Pest Control, we know you are committed to making your home and business a healthy and pest free place. Hi, I'm David. Give us a call and we'll give you a firm price over the phone and schedule a time that works for you. 
We will do an in-depth 30 point healthy home or business inspection and craft a customized plan of action designed specifically for your pest issue. Give us a call or visit our website today. Back court tonight here at Wenatchee High School, and we are just about set for third quarter action. In fact, we're into the third quarter now as the Panthers inbounds it with the ball first as the team switch ends. Davis leads it 29 21, have led by as many as 10 points. It's eight right now. There's Blauman in the lane, tried to get a shot off, couldn't, and then kicks it back out to Joe Dory. Panthers, same starters Joe Dory, Nathan Blauman, Garrett Long, Camden Lloyd Hammer. And Logan Nelson and a turnover to start the second half as it's stolen by Bennett Joe to early the third layup. Good. Just like that. Fast break basketball. Davis. So we have a, a warning, a delay of game against Davis. After that basket, the ball was gets slammed to the floor. So we'll keep our eye on that as we make our way through. Long with it now. Panthers on offense. 31-21. Down by 10. Blauman to Lloyd Hammer. Once again, Chase Lloyd Hammer not here tonight. He is on a football recruiting trip to Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana tonight. Or this weekend, I should say. Dory, the shot, no good. Bennett Joe tried to save it. He was stepping on the end line, though. And that'll be Panther basketball. Might have been better just to leave it alone. It might have been Davis's basketball, but instead, Wenatchee has it. Player down two in the corner. Bennett Joe, it looks like, the big man, went down hard. Got hit in kind of a bad place, maybe, but 7.09 left to go, third quarter. Substitute into the ball game is Robert Galindo, the 5'11 sophomore. So Bennett Joe heads to the bench. 6'5 sophomore. Panthers have it side out in front of the student section. Long brings it into Blauman. Both teams have been man to man throughout this game. Lloyd Hammer with it now. Double team looking for someone. Finds Dory on the baseline. He's going to put up the shot there. In and out. Doesn't get the roll either. But Logan Nelson there with the rebound. Back up no good. And we've got a foul, and this may be on Nelson. It is. He pushed off as he went up for that shot, and that's big Logan Nelson's first foul as Logan Bailey comes in for him. So Logan for Logan. Logan Bailey had a heck of a first half. Eight second quarter points for Bailey off the bench for the Panthers to kind of keep him in it. But the Panthers still down by 10, 31-21. Earl Lee to Guerrero, back to Lee. Looks left side, stays with the dribble instead. Now goes that way to Galindo. Right wing, Guerrero drives the baseline. A running shot there, no good. Blauman touched that. And it goes off of Blauman and out of bounds, and it will be Davis basketball as big Dante Bennett Joe checks back in, and he'll replace Galindo in that Davis lineup. As I mentioned, kind of a down year for these Pirates. In fact, the last. 15 or 16 years. I can't remember the Pirates being under 500 in a big nine season, but they are right now, but they can even that up tonight. Lloyd Hammer working against Bennett Joe. No good. Lloyd Hammer then brings down the rebound. Boy, there's a lot of contact here tonight. Then it's stolen away by Earl Lee, the third baseline shot. No good. He's fouled, and he's going to go to the line. 
Boy, when you're a big guy, you just can't bring that ball down low because it's going to get slapped away from you. And Camden Loinhammer picks up his second personal foul. All right, Jose Reyes to bring it in under the Pirate basket, gets it out to Marcus Cook. Now on the wing, it's Earl Lee, and he does that same move where you got to put the ball on the floor before you take that step. And it's been called on both sides now once. Davis with three turnovers. Panthers seven in this ball game as Joe Dory heads over to the uh, sideline to bring this one in. 6-10 left to go. Third quarter, 10-point Davis lead. Here's Long. Across half court as he hands it off to Blauman. Picked up there on a switch by Guerrero. Blauman, the drive, no good. Bailey had his fingers on it. It goes into the hands of Camden Lloydhammer. Now to Logan Bailey. He tried to get the pass off, and then it's intercepted by Bennett Joe to Marcus Cook. And then a goal tend by Garrett Long. And that will count for Marcus Cook. Cook now with eight points on the night. But leading the way is Earl Lee III with 14. Biggest lead of the night now for the Pirates at 12, 33-21. Low scoring affair and game number two of our doubleheader, long. Down court for the Panthers, working against Cook. Just dribbles back out of traffic and resets the play for the Panthers as we get close to five and a half minutes. Now long, a floater in the lane, no good. Bennett, Joe, the rebound, fast break opportunity, Lee. He is going to put up another one of those NBA threes. No good. Blauman the rebound. Obviously, he has a green light to take those shots. Blauman then behind the back pass, and it's picked off. And Coach Williams not happy. Cook back the other way, up and in, and that's 10 points for him. Timeout called by Wenatchee. 5-16 left to go third quarter. Davis 35, Wenatchee 21. We're back courtside with you in 30 seconds. Stay with us. At Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Call the Pro Shop to schedule your time on the Full Swing S4 Widescreen Golf Simulators. Phone number is 884-4653. Plan your next tournament or event at the Highlander Golf Course. And by Impact Auto Sales. They strive to impact your life, not your wallet. You can expect a hassle-free car buying experience at Impact Auto Sales in Wenatchee. 516 left to go, third quarter. Davis now the biggest lead of the night at 14 points, 35-21. The Panthers have failed to score a point here in this third quarter. As the girls team did in this first game tonight, didn't score a single point in the second quarter of their game. Here's Lloyd Hammer now at the elbow with Bennett Joe on him. Lloyd Hammer, nice left-handed shot to the basket, up and in. First points of the second half for Camden Lloyd Hammer, and he's got five. Back the other way, Marcus Cook caught the Panthers sleeping. And it's up and in, he's got 12 now. Long to Nelson. Nelson under the basket, couldn't get it to go. He even got Bennett Joe to leave his feet and just couldn't get it to fall. Bennett Joe the rebound, back the other way. To Earl Lee the third, he'll put it up from anywhere on the court. Double pump layup, gets it to go and he's fouled. How about that shot? Had the spin and it went in. He's got 16, he can make it 17 with the made free throw here. What a shot. Checking in for the Panthers now, Johnny Amezqua, 5'10", a sophomore. He'll replace big Logan Nelson in the Panther lineup. Early at the free throw line has not attempted a free throw yet tonight. I mentioned he has 16 points though, 12 at the break and four here in this third quarter. 39-23. Lee, free throw good and does complete the three-point play. 17-point lead now. The Panthers have scored two points 
in this third quarter, outscored 11 to two. Long, behind the back dribble, trying to shake Cook, falls to the floor, gets tied up, still has it, begins the dribble again, still tied up, and now it's Dory with it. Hand it to a Mezqua. Now it's Long. We've got a blocking foul on the uh, sideline over there. I think it's Marcus Cook. And it is his second personal foul. Only the first team foul this half on Davis. And we're almost halfway through the third quarter. Garrett Long will bring it in for the Panthers. Very quiet. Wenatchee High School Gymnasium at the moment. Panthers down by 17, a Mezqua. Floater, and it's picked off. Lee, layup, no good, but he's going to go to the line and shoot too. Just like that, Amezqua. Johnny Amezqua picks up his first, and that's the third team foul on the Panthers. It's Earl Lee, the third, will go to the free throw line. He was just there and made that attempt. Got 17 points in the game. Shot on the way is good. Lee has 18, he'll get another one. Backs away as Long gets some instruction from Coach Travis Williams. Right-handed shooter, Lee. Free throw in and out this time, no good. Bailey is tied up under there by a much shorter Guerrero and the alternating possession will go to Davis. How about that, Guerrero at only 5'10". 18 point Davis lead, 3.56 left. Bennett, Joe underneath, up and good. 20 point lead as no Logan Nelson set to check back in. The first time these two teams played, it was a 19 point win for Davis. As long a spin move and it's up and good. That's Long's first bucket of the third quarter. He's got 10. Reyes to Bennett Joe, cut off by Dory. Bennett Joe on the baseline, back out to Earl Lee the third. Now it's Cook, he's gonna put up the long shot for three, good! He's got nine in this quarter, now 15. So 18 for Lee, 15 for Cook. Long the shot, no good. Bennett Joe the rebound, baseball pass down court, Reyes. And we've got a whistle and a traveling violation, and that's only the second turnover this half on Davis, four total in this game. Reyes comes out of the lineup, checking in for him is number 12, Braxton Brown, and the 5'8 junior. 21 point Davis lead, 46-25, three minutes left to go third quarter. There's Garrett Long for three, good. He's got 13 to lead the Panthers in scoring. 46-28, Braxton Brown off the bench with it. Falls to the floor, lost his glasses, now gets him back on. Ball's loose and picked up by a Mesqua. Too long, long, left-handed layup. Kind of got his body turned a little bit, but he does draw the foul, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. it be Earl Lee's first personal foul, and that will send Garrett Long to the free throw line. He is one for one. The Panthers have only shot one free throw in this entire game, and that was way back in the first quarter. Two minutes, 40 seconds left to go third quarter. Panthers have been outscored big time here in this third period. Long at the line, free throw, first one, in and out, no good. He'll get another. Two forty left third quarter, Long for his second attempt, missed the first, it was rolled around and then out. Second one also no good, but Lloyd Hammer there with the rebound. The Panthers have a fresh shot clock. They need some points now. It's Dory. Baseline three. Good. First points of the night for Joe Dory, and they're big ones. 46-31. Lead back down to 15 now. It's been as big as 21. There's Cook. Runs into Lloyd Hammer. And gets knocked to the floor. And that'll be a foul on Camden Lloyd Hammer, his third personal. That's the 15 foul on the Panthers. Side out for Davis. Oh, it is the fourth on Lloyd Hammer. Excuse me. 
So we'll see if he comes out of the lineup. Still in there right now, and it doesn't look like Travis Williams has any intention of getting him out of there. Braxton Brown inbounds it for the Pirates. Here's Bennett Joe working on Logan. Those are some big boys working on each other right there. Nelson a little bit too aggressive. And he'll be called for that foul, and that's number two on him. And that's the sixteen foul now on the Panthers, too. So one more, and Davis will be shooting free throws the rest of this game. Bennett Joe, it shouldn't be a shooting foul, so it'll be underneath the basket. Sixteen fouls. Brown will bring it in for the Pirates. 2-12 left to go third quarter. Brown inbounds to Lee. Dribbles back out with a Mezqua all over him. Now he switches with Long. Near side wing, Guerrero back to Lee. He's going to take that bomb again. Good. Wow, his third one in this game. Nine points in this quarter for 21. Long basket, good. And he's going to have a chance now for a three-point play. Long's had a quarter here. Seven points, has missed a couple of free throws, and we might have a technical foul here. Cook. So Dante Bennett Joe with the personal foul, and then the uh, technical foul on Marcus Cook. That's his third personal. Garrett Long to the free throw line, so the Panthers will shoot a couple of free throws and. Get the basketball here with a minute 51 left in the third. The bottom line is you don't argue fouls. If you do, you're going to get a technical, and that's what happened to Marcus Cook there. 16-point lead. Here's Long at the free throw line. Long, one of three so far on the night. First one, good. We'll get another one. Now 50% from the free throw line on the night, 2-4. 49-34, Long could cut this lead to 14 points and does as he goes perfect on this trip and the Panthers get the basketball. Okay, 49-35. Here's the free throw and it's good. So Long perfect there, three out of three and is now three of five. In this quarter, Panthers get the basketball. Dory will bring it in. 13-point Wenatchee lead. Minute 51 left third quarter. Jose Reyes checks in. Braxton Brown to the uh, Davis bench. And Davis back in there with all their starters. Dory to bring it in. Side out for Wenatchee. Looking for some help. Gets it into a Mezqua. Crosses half court and then gets it taken away from him by Earl Lee the third. Down court. Cook. Shot taken, no good, and we've got a blocking foul underneath. Looks like it'd be Joe Dory. And as quick as this game was rolling along, it's slowed up now just as quickly here in this third quarter. Cook to the line. So Joe Dory's first, and now free throws the rest of the night for these Davis Pirates. Marcus Cook at the line. Has not attempted a free throw yet tonight. First one good. Ten points this quarter for Marcus Cook. Has 16 now in the game. Including a three-pointer this period. Here's the second free throw. It's also good. Panthers once again down by 15. A minute 37 left to go. Quarter number three. There's long free throw line. Now to Logan Nelson looking for someone. Can't find anyone. Then they throw it away. Here's Reyes. Shot taken. Blocked by Long. Davis wants a foul. Looked like Long may have got him on the arm a little bit. No call. And Coach Juarez can't really believe it. But he's staying quiet right now as Logan Bailey checks in for the Panthers. Replacing Logan Nelson. Minute 26 now left as Reyes brings it in, gets it into Bennett Joe, working on Logan Bailey. Walked a little bit into the lane, and it's called. Good call there. And that's turnover number four on the Pirates. So six turnovers in the game for Davis. The Panthers with 12 on the night. And the score reflects that. It's Davis 51, Wenatchee 36. 
winding down this third quarter as we begin the second half of the Big Nine schedule tonight. Long, beautiful crossover dribble, can't do anything with it. And then we got a reach-in foul and tons of fouls now here at the end of this third quarter. So this one's on Earl Lee, the third is second. And the Panthers will have it underneath their own basket. Almost thrown away on the inbounds. Garrett Long picks up the loose ball. The Panthers will try and set up the offense. They've had a really tough time here in this third quarter. Long, 56 seconds left to go in the period. Working on Earl Lee the third to Amezqua. Gets a screen, kicks it off baseline to Dory. Now back top of the key, it's Garrett Long. Gets the ball tipped away from him by Lee the third. Down court, mini dunk, and it's good. 35 seconds left to go, third quarter, Amezqua. A running pass and a terrible one. It's intercepted and Davis has it back going the other way and he might have stepped on the sideline. He did, didn't mean to. And that's turnover number five. This second half now on Davis. Nathan Blauman after a long rest on the Panthers bench is back in there. 17 point Pirate lead as we wind down this third quarter. 20 seconds left. It's long as the Panthers obviously going for the slash shot here of this quarter. Marcus Cook comes out on him. Now it's long. Gets a screen from Camden Lloydhammer. Long still with it. Shot taken. Good. That was all Garrett Long there. Two seconds. One. Reyes the shot for three is good. That ends our third quarter of play. After three here at Wenatchee High School, it's Wenatchee 50, or should say Davis 56, Wenatchee 38. Back here in 60 seconds. Hi there, it's Les Schwab Tires. Well, more like Les Schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires. Now, some tire places don't offer all that. They only sell tires. And we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping. That's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. All right, back to the side as we begin the fourth and final quarter of play here at Wenatchee High School. It was all Davis in that third quarter, leading it now 56-38. Shot taken by Long is no good. Davis with the rebound, and stepping on the end line was Guerrero, and the Panthers will have it back. 25 points in that third quarter for Davis, outscoring the Panthers by eight points, and lead it 56-38. Logan Bailey with it for the Panthers, and we've got a whistle away from the play. Something on the floor, so we'll do this over again. 24 on the shot clock. Coach Travis Williams looks a little bit distraught right now. I don't think this is what he expected to happen here. As the Panthers, he needed them to get off to a fast start, just didn't work that way. And now Davis with this 18-point lead. They've led by as many as 21. Here's Long, forced to pass that one. Now Dory will take the three. Good! So Dory with a three in the third quarter, and now a three-pointer here to begin this fourth, and it's 56-41. Baseline, Guerrero picked up by Dory, no good. Lloyd Hammer the rebound, dribbles out of traffic and gives it to Blauman. Cross court, long in the lane, a runner no good, gets his own rebound back up, no good. Boy, can't believe he missed that, into the hands of Bennett Joe. Down court, Reyes, looking for some help, now kicks it out, Cook. Gets a screen from Reyes and a carrying the ball violation is called against Cook this time. 
And that's turnover number six in the second half. Eight now in the ball game. Already has a technical, so we've got to be careful. Panthers are not taking care of it quite as well in this one with 13 turnovers. 56-41, Garrett Long spins, elbow, hurt his back a little bit. Underneath now it's Logan Bailey, gets it out Camden, Lloyd Hammer thought about a three, working against Earl Lee the third, Lloyd Hammer drives, and it's not gonna count, he'll get a, the foul will be before the shot. So that foul is on Earl Lee the third, his third personal. Panthers side out right in front of the team bench. Long to bring it in with 640 left to go fourth quarter. It's been all Davis here in this one. Long backs away as Reyes comes out on him behind the back dribble now by Long. Baseline Blauman shovel pass nicely done. Lloyd Hammer good. It's only seven points for Lloyd Hammer in the game. Three in the first quarter, four in the second half. And we've got timeout called by Coach Juarez. 6.21 left to go fourth quarter. Davis 56, Wenatchee 43, back in 30. Stay with us. Uh, my name is Brian Thorpe. Uh, I own Global Car Care in Wenatchee and have been here for about 25 years. Brian started Global Car Care as Brian's automotive alternative on Arondo Street. Some customers were following Brian since uh, Brian's automotive time. No, we're just grateful to be part of this community. This is where I grew up. We want to do our part to be a valuable part of this community. We want to thank you for trusting our business for 25 years. Ball is brought to you by the good folks at Les Schwab Tire Center. Go online to lesschwab.com to find a tire store near you. Doing the right thing matters. Also by Town Toyota, your automotive home to quality and reliability right here in North Central Washington. All right, as we get back to play, 621 left fourth quarter. Davis will have it out of the timeout. Guerrero inbound to Reyes with Blauman on him. Back to Guerrero baseline under the basket, then kicks it out. Cook's left open. He's going to put up the three in and out. No good. Who's got the rebound? It's into the hands of Logan Bailey. Down court, court Dory. Almost too far, but Dory corrals it and then puts up the shot. No good. Reyes the rebound as we now dip below six minutes left in the game. Long pass early. The third pass from Reyes. Good. 25 in the ball game now for early the third. Here's Garrett Long. Top of the key, Cook on him, Long will drive, good, he's fouled. What a second half by Garrett Long. The foul is gonna be on Marcus Cook, his fourth. So Cook with four, also for the Panthers, Camden Lloydhammer playing with four personal fouls, and Garrett Long at the free throw line to kind of complete the three point play. Substitute in there, Robert Galindo checks in, Cook coming out. Cook also a nice night tonight with 17 points, had 23 last night. Here's Long with 543 left fourth quarter at the line. Spins the ball, he wants his three point play, free throw good. 15 points in this second half for Garrett Long, eight in the first, he's got 23 points now. That's just two behind Earl Lee, the third for the most points by a player in this game so far. Reyes, one-handed pass down low to Bennett Joe. Pushes Lloydhammer right out of the way. Shot taken, Reyes on the rebound, up and good. First bucket of the fourth quarter for Reyes, and he's got 10 now. 60 to 46, Panthers down 14. Nice crossover dribble again by Garrett Long. Baseline Dory, didn't want to get trapped there. He doesn't, gets it out to Long, driving again. Nice shovel pass, Lloyd Hammer up and in. That's nine points now for Lloyd Hammer in this one. Coming back the other way is Earl Lee the third, and we've got a player that just absolutely got run over. It's Garrett Long and Bennett Joe. Dante Bennett Joe didn't see him and ran him over, and that's foul number two on Dante Bennett Joe, and the Panthers will have it side out. We need a towel out on the court, a little bit of sweat out there, right below the Panther logo. 
Referee Simonson cleans that mess up out there. 4.54 left fourth quarter. 12-point Davis lead as the Panthers try and climb back into this one. They're down by as many as 21 at one point. Long is complaining about a fan in the crowd. Is very mouthy. All right, side out. Dory will bring it in. Gets it all the way into Gavin Long. Or Gavin. I knew I was going to do that tonight. That's his brother that played. Garrett Long with it. He loses it. And then he's fouled on the arm as he gets to the right elbow. This foul is on Earl Lee the third. That's his fourth. So Earl Lee the third with four. Marcus Cook with four. Those are the two leading scorers for Davis. As Garrett Long goes to the free throw line. Long first one on the way. Good. He'll get another one. 24 points on the night now for Long. 60 to 49, 11 point lead for Davis. As I mentioned, they've led by as many as 21 in this one. And here's Long's second free throw. On the way, this time no good. And the rebound to Reyes gets pushed off the ball, but still maintains. Now a two on one for Davis. Earl Lee, the third, cannot get it to go this time. Camden Lloyd Hammer, the rebound. Panthers trying to make it a game here. Lloyd Hammer, coast to coast, left hand layup, good. 60-51, Panthers trying to get back in this one as Davis needs to just settle down, according to Coach Juarez. Lee drives, runner, no good, rebound into the hands of Blauman. Panthers now can cut this lead even further. Blauman on the baseline. Bounce pass, Lloyd Hammer, and we've got an offensive foul. It was a late call. Coach Williams does not like it. And that's foul number five on Lloyd Hammer, and he's going to foul out of this ball game. How big is that? And that's 11 points on the night for Lloyd Hammer, who fouls out of the game. Substitute Reyes in for Galindo. 60-51. Paleo set to check in for the Panthers as well. That's uh, Ryan Puleo. We saw a little bit of time in that first half as well. 4-10, left to go, fourth quarter. Baseball pass down court. Cook catches up with it, but can't get a shot off. Lee wanted a shot. He's on the baseline, and he steps on the line, and it goes to the Panthers. And that is turnover number seven now on Davis here in this second half. Only committed two in the first half. And the Panthers have cut this to a nine-point lead. Lots of folks down at the end of the gym. We've got a lot of players, and now referee Simonson is talking to coach Eli Juarez. We've got to clear some of these players out down here. Coach Williams, I think, is going to get involved, too. We've got a lot of people standing at the end of the gym. So, yeah, we're keeping that end clear. 4.04 left to go fourth quarter. It's Davis 60, Wenatchee 51. And everybody is going to be asked to sit down. And they are asked to sit down. As they're told to move out of the way. I haven't seen this. I've done a lot of games here in Wenatchee, but I've never seen people being asked to leave the end of the gym like this. All right, Simonson still clearing people out, getting people to move it. And we'll be back to live action here in a second. It has been all Davis Pirates, though, tonight, folks, as uh, the Panthers kept it close in the first quarter for a while, and it's been all Pirates since then. 17 points on the night for Marcus Cook, 25 on the night for Earl Lee the third. As Davis leads this one by nine, Panther crowd now getting into it. Here we go with a little back and forth now between the Davis fans and the Panther fans. A little talking going on as well. Darrell Long has had it out with some fans sitting directly behind me throughout this game. They have been very vocal 
and their critique, so to speak, of Garrett Long tonight, if you want to call it that. And eventually, we will get back to basketball here. As and that you will have it. Dory is on the uh, end line for the Panthers as Wenatchee will have the basketball. All right, oh, still trying to clear people out. I just have never seen this before where it's a delay like this to get people to sit down. I just have never seen this. In all my time at Wenatchee, here we go. Dory to bring it in, nine point lead. We are back to basketball, folks, how about that? Four minutes left to go, fourth quarter. Here's Long, free throw line, runner, good! Panthers on their way back. Now it's Cook to Earl Lee the third. Panthers down by seven. We're down by 21 at one time. Reyes, Paleo on him, over to Earl Lee the third. He drives into the lane, and we've got a blocking foul on Puleo. He really didn't have position. I think Lee would have been charged with that offensive foul, and that would have been number five on him because Lee's playing with four, Marcus Cook playing with four. And Earl Lee the third to the free throw line. He is perfect tonight, two out of two. I mentioned 25 points along with Garrett Long to lead all scorers. Free throw by Earl Lee's no good, one and one, and the rebound to Logan Bailey. Here we go. It's Dory with it. Thought about the shot, backs away from it as we dip under three and a half minutes now left to go. Seven point Davis lead. Long dribbles out top of the key, now backs up all the way almost to half court in the uh, Panther logo. 12 on the shot clock, Wenatchee. Now 10, Blauman wants a screen, didn't get it. Dory's at the baseline, shot taken, no good, rebound. Logan Bailey back out to Dory. Now it's Blauman, nice rebound by Bailey to Garrett Long, free throw line, he's gonna drive, put up the shot, no good, rebound into the hands of Guerrero. Outlet, Reyes. Reyes, free throw line to Cook, drives, layup, good. He's got 19. We've got a whistle and another towel being requested as more perspiration on the floor right under the Panther basket. Nine point Davis lead now, 62-53 on that basket. As the Panthers try to get back into this one, nine point lead, 2.42 left to go fourth quarter. Blauman to bring it in, does so to Garrett Long. Long across half court. Now as we get close to two and a half minutes left, Paleo, an air ball, not the show, shot Coach Williams wanted at all, and he is mad, and he's going to, I think, get somebody off the bench, and now Paleo doesn't need to come back and foul, that's for sure, and that's exactly what he does. Man, oh man, first foul on Ryan Paleo. First he took a shot that Coach Williams didn't want him to take, and then comes back with a frustration foul. That'll get Amezqua off the bench to come in for him, Johnny Amezqua. Coach Williams, a head shake as Paleo goes to the bench. 2.23 left fourth quarter, Earl Lee, the third. Free throw line, good. It's 26 on the night for Earl Lee the third. He'll get another one here in this 10 point game now. Second free throw is also good. 2.22 left to go fourth quarter. We had a good one here. It looked like a runaway. The Panthers came back making it a game but now down by 11 again as Logan Bailey loses control of it. And then he's fouled at the free throw line. Boy, lots of fouls here in this second half. And it's on Earl Lee the third. He's going to foul out of this one. That's five on him. 27 points on the night for Earl Lee the third. Four of five from the free throw line. What a ball game. Checking in to replace him is number 12. And that's Braxton. Braxton Brown, that is. Bailey, free throw line, no good. Bailey with eight points in the second quarter. They'll get a free throw here 
Another one here in the fourth. <clears throat> 64-53, free throw on the way, rolling around, no good. Bennett Joe, the rebound. Now it's Guerrero, as Panthers put a little pressure on, they need to now down by 11 with two minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Marcus Cook spins away from Long. It's a screen. Another crossover move into the lane. Off the glass, no good. Bennett Joe the rebound. Put back, no good. Rebound to Logan Bailey, and he's fouled underneath. And this might be on Braxton Brown, and it is. So Brown picks up his first personal foul. Both teams with a ton of fouls here in this second half. And to the free throw line goes Logan Bailey. Blauman, a word of encouragement. To Bailey, 6'2 senior. Panthers need every possible bucket they can get right now. Down by 11. Here's the free throw. No good. And he'll get another one. He has missed three straight free throws now. Has one more. Timeout called by coach Eli Juarez. We'll take one as well. Winding this one down. A minute 49 left to go fourth quarter. Davis 64, Wenatchee 53. We're back in one minute. Stay with us. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning is your local independent trained comfort specialists, proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. One minute, 49 seconds left to go in this fourth quarter of our game number two of our doubleheader. It's Davis 64, Wenatchee 53. Logan Bailey for the Panthers at the free throw line. He missed his first attempt, and now it's his second. On the way, and misses that one as well. 0 for 4 from the line for Bailey this fourth quarter. Amezqua comes behind Brown and fouls him. And that'll be Johnny Amezqua's second personal foul and send Braxton Brown to the free throw line. Has not scored a point here in this ball game. Minute 44 left to go. 11 point lead, here's Brown. Free throw, off the side of the rim, no good. He'll get another one. <clears throat> Eleven point Davis lead free throw this time is good and Browns on the board with a point here in this ball game. Minute forty left to go. Twelve point Pirate lead. Sixty five fifty three Long facing two three zone defense. Long right side Dory back to Long looking to get to the basket can't. Blauman's going to take the three no good. Bailey with the offensive rebound put back up and in. Bailey with ten now. And we've got a timeout called this time by Travis Williams and the Panthers with a minute 22 left to go. We'll take a 60-second timeout and come right back. Stay with us. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. 
When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Basketball on the timeout with 122 left in the game, and we've got a baseball pass all the way down court to Marcus Cook. It didn't work, so Cook's just going to dribble it back out. They've got some time to kill here, and they draw a foul. If it's on Amezqua or Garrett Long, let's check this. And this will be on Amezqua, and that's number three on him, and that'll send Marcus Cook to the free throw line. Nice game for Cook here tonight. 19 points, can make it 20, and no good on that one. That's first free throw tonight, or I should say the first free throw of the fourth quarter. Cook two for three from the line tonight, and he'll get another one. 117 left to go. Cook, free throw, missed the first, made the second. 11 point lead once again for Davis. Panthers just can't seem to crack these double digits now after getting the lead down to seven. It goes off Long's leg and out of bounds. And that's turnover number nine on the Panthers here in the second half. That's 14 on the night also for Wenatchee. Pass down court to Bennett Joe as he is knocked out of bounds and that foul will be on Logan Bailey, I believe. Bennett Joe almost lost his balance, went right into the Davis bench. So Bailey picks up his second and that sends big Dante Bennett Joe to the free throw line, 6'5", sophomore for these Davis Pirates. He'll be back. Right-handed shooter, free throw, good. Davis was five for five from the line in that first half. Very good here in the second half as well. Under a minute left to go. Bennett Joe's free throw good, and this lead back to 12. 58 seconds left to go. Here's Long dribbling around, puts the shot up. It's good, and he's fouled in the lane by Bennett Joe. And Long is having himself a ball game tonight. <laughs> And Bennett Joe will pick up his third. Twenty-eight points unofficially for Gavin Long in this game. Twenty-eight points now. Fifty seconds left to go, fourth quarter. At the free throw line is got Garrett Long and the chance to complete the three-point play. Right, are we ready to go? I think we are. Long at the line, 50 seconds left. This has been a crazy finish to this game. Here's Long's free throw, good. 29 now on the night for Garrett Long. Almost gets a steal too, knocks it out of bounds and it will remain Davis basketball with a 10 point lead. Davis will be shooting free throws. Down the stretch, remember, two Panthers will probably foul immediately. It's probably the guy to foul, Braxton Brown. They can't catch him as he gets it to Bennett Joe now. And Blauman reaches in and fouls him, and that'll be Nathan Blauman's second personal foul. Dante Bennett Joe to the free throw line. He was just there, was two for two. 42 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Bennett Joe, first free throw on the way, rolls out, no good. He'll get another. Coach Juarez has some words with one of his star players, Marcus Cook, who's had a great game tonight. Bennett Joe, good on this one, though. Now three of four from the free throw line in the game. 69-58. Long picks it up at about half court to keep the clock from running. Now it's Dory to Logan Bailey who takes the off-balance shot. No good. Blauman skies high for the rebound. Now it's Long from the baseline. It's the side of the backboard. No good. Now it's Dory with a three. No good. And Blauman has it. He's going to put up a three. No good. Who's got it now? Blauman picks it up again. Now he's going to drive to the basket. Lays it up and in. 
his first bucket of this second half and a timeout called by Coach Williams. We will keep it right here this time. 15.4 seconds left to go, fourth quarter. Davis on top in this one, 69 to 60, so a nine point Davis lead. Davis is led by as many as 21 points in this game. The Panthers, though, in this fourth quarter has cut it to seven. And I want to mention that tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Weinstein Beverage Company, a family-owned business proud to support local high school teams. You can find them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. That's Weinstein Beverage. Com. Also by our friends at TC Slinger. They'll place the material for you. And don't forget, if you want snow removed, they will do that as well. And by Town Toyota, your automotive home to quality and reliability right here in North Central Washington. Coming up this week on the NCW Life Channel, we do have more local sports action on Thursday. It's Eastmont at Wenatchee Wrestling. Live at 7 o'clock, that'll be tape delayed. Eric Granstrom on the call, and we will rebroadcast that this Thursday at 9 o'clock. So don't miss that. Wrestling with Eric Granstrom, Eastmont, and Wenatchee. Okay, 15 seconds left to go. Davis with the basketball and a nine-point lead. Reyes looking for help. Cook gets thrown around a little bit. Then a timeout is called by Davis because they had couldn't find anybody. Good defense by the Panthers. We'll take a timeout too. It's Davis 69, Wenatchee 60, back court side in 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Ricardo, and this is Amanda, and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Where you can expect a hassle-free car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. All right, out of the timeout, a foul immediately out of that timeout by Garrett Long. He fouled Cook with 13.9 seconds left to go. It's become a free throw shooting contest now. As Long, I should say Garrett Long, yeah, picks up his second personal. After a quick start to this game, it has really slowed down the pace of this ball game as Cook at the free throw line on the way, clanks it off the front of the rim, no good. So he is three of five from the free throw line tonight. He'll get another one. Free throw on the way, misses them both. Blauman the rebound, and the Panthers back the other way. Nine seconds left. Eight, Dory's on the baseline for three, no good. Rebound, Reyes down court to Cook. Two seconds, one, and that will do it. Our final score here for Wenatchee High School tonight, the Davis Pirates 69 and the Wenatchee Panthers 60. We will take a two minute timeout and we will come back with your final game stats and wrap it up here from the high school right after this. Dix Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dix has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long and your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Heating and Air Conditioning for all your support. Thank you. Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, your local independent train comfort specialist. Call 884-6444 today. At Harvest Valley Pest Control, we know you are committed to making your home and business a healthy and pest-free place. Hi, I'm David. Give us a call and we'll give you a firm price over the phone and schedule a time that works for you. We will do an in-depth 30-point healthy home or business inspection and craft a customized plan of action designed specifically for your pest issue. Give us a call or visit our website today.
Frito Mocha with Whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate for pita. Definitely espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha for pitas. A peach Red Bull. Reynoldson back courtside with you. Our final score in game number two is the Davis Pirates 69 and the Wenatchee Panthers 60. Also in game number one, it was the Davis women, or the Davis gals rather, with the win in that one by a final score of 41 to 36. Let's take a look at our final game stats now beginning with the Wenatchee Panthers. What a night for Garrett Long. Ends up with 29 points unofficially, 21 of those in the second quarter. Long 7 of 10 from the free throw line. 11 points from Camden Lloyd Hammer, 10 points off the bench for Logan Bailey, a nice game for him, although he was 0 for 4 from the free throw line. Six points for Joe Dory and four points for Nathan Blauman. Panthers just terrible, 50% from the free throw line, seven of 14, five first half turnovers, nine in the second for 14 on the night. And now for the victorious Davis Pirates, balanced scoring, Earl Lee the third leading the way with 27 points for Davis. He was four for five from the free throw line. 20 points on the night for Marcus Cook, 3 for 6 from the charity stripe. 10 points for Jose Reyes, he was 5 for 5 from the line. 5 points for Dante Bennett-Joe, 3 of 4 from the free throw line. And 1 point off the bench for Braxton Brown, 1 of 2 from the free throw line. The Davis Pirates, 16 of 20 from the free throw line. 2 first half turnovers, 7 in the second half for a game total of nine points. The Panthers outscored Davis 22 to 10 in that fourth quarter, but it wasn't enough as Davis goes on for the 69 to 60 win. This weekend coming up for the Panthers now, it's Sunnyside on the road Friday night and then a home game right here at Wenatchee High School. The big bridge of sportsmanship game as Eastmont comes to town, that is next Saturday. So for everyone here at the gym that helped with this broadcast, especially the master controller back at the NCW Live studio, Rachel Mandelis. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you to Dan Kuntz and his crew as well. And that does it here from the high school tonight. Game number one, it was Davis 41, Wenatchee 36. And in game number two, once again, Davis as the Pirates defeat the Panthers by a final of 69-60. to I'm Grant Olson. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon right here on the NCW Live channel. Good night. Thanks for watching High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you by Harvest Valley Pest Control, Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Les Schwab Tires, Biosports Physical Therapy, Impact Auto Sales, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Town Toyota, Auto Mocha, JDSA Law and Weinstein Beverage. This concludes today's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel.